y'all real mccoy 411 and welcome back to my channel we're about to get into something that i have never done before on or off camera but i have been studying it and i want to see it done on my hair so hopefully we can pull out the flexi perm rods and do a flexi perm rod set on my hair today so stay tuned already shampooed and went in with the five minute reviving mask by main choice so this is the pink lemonade and coconut line and it's a five minute reviving mask so I've already taken care of the hair now I'm going to put in a leave-in conditioner that's from another line but I really like the way it makes my hair feel and that's the afro sheen velvet and then once I put that in we're going to get started. I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking because this is new to me. I am, this is going to be the first time me doing this. And I'm either going to use the exotic Kool-Aid Jello, or I'm going to use the pearly braid out glaze or I'm going to use the crystal orchid. I don't know which one just as of yet, but I do know my leave-in conditioner is going to be Afro Shane. And I'm just spraying it all over my head. Then I'm going to put my hair in sections. Once I put my hair in sections, I'm going to get started. There are two different ways I've seen that people um, put these flexi rods in. I've seen them rod up. And I see them go down. And I'm going to be going down. Because going down just seems like an easier easier way for me. With a little two-strand twist at the, at the root of it all. So, bear with me. Let's get started. Okay. So, I've separated my hair. And now, I'm going to go in. My hair is damp. It is still damp, but I do have on hand some warm water because I want, I'm going to put these in wet and I'm going to let them air dry and I may use my blow dryer because I don't have a sit on the dryer. So I'm going to use blow dryer to help them out towards the end, but I'm going to put them in wet. So I think this section may just need to be separated just one more time. Because I do not want to put too much on one strand. Because I want it to go ahead on and dry. So I'm going to divide that section into half. And that way I just have this right here. Sorry you can't see over here because the headboard had to change some things around. So mostly what you'll be seeing is on this side. Headboard is blocking this side. I see that. Going to fix it. But right now, let's get started. So we have the leave-in conditioner in. And we're going to take a section of our hair. Now I'm telling you, this is new for me. Going in with the Crystal Orchard and the Pearly Braid Out Glaze. Because I want some shine. And I want it to stick to the perm rod. So I'm going to add the Crystal Orchard. And I'm starting adding the product down at the tips of my hair, at the ends of my hair. Because that's the part I want to make sure sticks to the perm rod, to the flexi rod. Now, I'm going to... Two strand twist at the root. Okay. Then I'm going to brush that out. Make sure it's good and smooth. I'm going to go in with the orange rod. Lay it down at my root. I'm going to hold it with this hand. 
and just go down. Smoothing it in on the ends of my hair, making sure it's smooth. And since I perm rod that way, then I bend it this way. Now this this is like two tutorials that I've learned how to do this from. So the perm rod is in, the ends are smooth, and it's in. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. Making sure I work it in. Making sure it's detangled. Two strand twists at the roots. Brushing smooth. a little candy cane.
this process at 10 uh 10 o'clock this morning it's 2:28. at one o'clock it wasn't ha my hair was still wet at one o'clock from the um tropical moringa pearly braid out glaze so i just said you know what charlotte real mccoy you need to go treat yourself and buy yourself a blow dryer because most of these styles require a blow dryer and you've been just air drying and baby I, I i didn't miss my nap i i can't i can't i can't sleep like this but they are dry so first i'm going to spray oil on on them and y'all know this is my lot of body oil bottle. And I am going to take them down. I'm just putting a little oil on this one. Just like I plan on perfecting when I said I was going to do my, um, my twist out, I told you I was going to do my twist out. I got, got that down. Let's see. Yes. So, like I said, it's not going to be perfect. But for my for a first attempt, I think it's pretty good.
my twisting technique can get better and will get better and will get faster as I get it down, but I got it. I did it. I took my time and I got it. Look at there. Look at the shine from the pearly braid out cream. What is it? Pearly braid out glaze. Main choice. And I think it turned out beautiful. Tell me what you guys think down in the in the comment section down below. Any pointers that you could give me. Hair is a hundred percent dry. Thank God I went invested in that in that dryer. Cause I think this would have taken me all day long. I think it would have to dry. So tell me what you guys think. If you're new to my channel, I'm the real McCoy 411 on a natural hair journey. Loving and learning how to make my hair healthy and longer. And another thing that I'm noticing is that the shrinkage is a trip. But shrinkage is a good thing. Shrinkage means that your hair is healthy and that your your hair is moisturized, it's not struggling for anything. It's shrinkage is a good thing. So know that when I say shrinkage is here because the hair is healthy to my hair other than a twist out or a wash and go and I'm talking through my eyes because I want to do more than just twist out and wash and goes yes I wanted to do more than that so I'm doing more than that hey guys this is the finished look and I am so proud of myself I am not uh, at 100% yet, but I'm going to keep practicing and practicing until I get it. So, here are the sides. Let me turn up the light. Okay. Here are the sides, which I think turned out awesome. You got a little slick down right here. And the back, the back, I got one area a little frizzy. I think I had too much on the perm rod. I could have split it this section right here. I think it's over here. I could have split it into two parts as opposed to one part. But this was my first time doing this. And, uh, yeah, I think I did pretty good. I still got an A on the test. I got an A on the test. I may not have got a hundred, but I got an A on the test. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Click on that notification bell because there are more videos like this that are going to be coming out on this channel. And you want to follow me on my natural hair journey. My natural hair journey started two years ago on YouTube. And if you see what I've come through from back then to now you would be totally shocked okay totally shocked but I did have to go and purchase a sit under blow dryer because sitting with those perm rods and having them air dry not gonna work not gonna work it took my it was gonna take my hair out forever and I would have had to sleep with them and that just was not gonna work for me so go ahead subscribe Click on the notification bell if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. This is only the first Flexi Rod video. This is only the first one. So imagine what it's going to be like when I get it down and I don't even have to wonder which way am I going. Do I have enough hair on this end? Imagine. Just imagine that. It's going to be fire. Fire. So, keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.